I'm having an FPS issue. Encoding overload. Encoding overload is gone. I, I don't know what's going on with YouTube at the moment or OBS. Anyway, hello. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, I don't know. YouTube is really laggy at the moment. And I may disconnect that camera because it is oh, laggy. <laughs> That's YouTube. Hey, Loro, with the big eyeballs. Glad to keep... I've seen your messages, my friend. Um, hi, Ashley. Hi, Striker. How's it going, guys? So, so now YouTube's telling me the stream bit late is too much. Oh, it's, it's, you cannot win with YouTube. If it's not one, it's the other. Um, I may drop that camera because it really... Oh, the FPS is up and down. Panama, Panama, how are you? Um, it's up and down, up and down, up and down. That's, that's, I don't know what is going on with YouTube. But anyway, I just like to look at my, my memory is fine. I've got plenty of memory. So I don't know why it's all over the shop, but it's all over the shop. Um, YouTube is just being, well, you know, YouTube. Do I think the Concept 1B is an OP tank? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll get back to that. I'll get to, we'll, we'll look at that in a moment. And if that camera continues with that crappy FPS, I'm going to knock it on the head because it's not good. It's killing... I think it's the camera that's doing it. Let, let me just close the camera a minute and see if that resolves the FPS issue. Ah! Look at that. Bear with me while I muck around with these cameras. I really think it is that. So I'm gonna to have to go with a different camera um, at the moment. This one's not draining as much energy. So the other one seems to be draining a lot of energy. And I, I think it's because of the software. The software is not great uh, for the other camera. It's called it's a software called Camera Live, and I, I need better software. Hey Sarah, how are you? Hey Dejon. Oh uh, it, it it's the UAE have changed the weekends, okay, so it used to be Friday, Saturday used to be the weekend, and now it's, uh, it's Saturday, Sunday, and a half day on Friday, so it's like a, a, it's like a two and a half day weekend here, which is great. Anyway, before we kick off, because we've got quite a few to go through, let's have a look at the store, see what's in there, if anything. Oh, it keeps dropping me down there. So you got the AMX 30B, and it's called the Elusive, and you know what, it, it is pretty elusive. Not a bad tank. To be honest with you, seventeen thousand five hundred is not a bad price. I don't know why they're saying it's going for thirty-one thousand. I think that's because when you look at it, you get the attachment as well and the camo, um, and that bumps it up. I mean, it should be going for twenty thousand. Just the tank, the attachment should be another four, and the camo should be another four, probably. So yeah, it's close to thirty-two thousand. Seems to a bit hyped for that, but I suppose you are getting a few bits and bobs. And, you know, they've given it a 45% discount. Is it a 45% discount? Or have they just said, sod it, instead of selling it for 20,000, we'll sell it for 17,500? I don't know, is the honest answer. As tier 10s go, it's pretty solid. It, it plays pretty much like um, a mix between a Leo 1 and the STB. It's a nice tank. If you know how to play the damn thing, if you're, if, you know, if you're one of those super duper unicorn players, then it's, it's a really nice tank to play with. Um, it's actually quite nice, so it, it, it's quite good. Hey, Galaxy, how are you doing? You know, and you, obviously you can get it in containers. Why Why you would spend money on containers when you can just get it there is beyond me. Um, you're better off spending the gold on it, guys, to be perfectly honest with you, rather than trying to get it in a container. Uh, but these are for gifting, so I can gift them. There's a New Year's bundle as well that I can gift. Then you've got the Collect Them All containers. Then the IS-6. <laughs> Yeah, well, they took it, you know, it's, the IS-6 was one of the times they didn't take out the tech tree, oddly enough. Um, but it's, it's, so it's still there. And they're selling it for quite a decent price. I mean, you're getting it for 5500 with, this is gold, with 30 days premium, which in itself is a lot of gold. And for half a million credits, you get the legendary camo, the attachment, and a load of bits and other bits and bobs. It's not a bad price, if I'm being honest. It's not a bad price. Or... 45 dirhams, that's about $12.5, roughly, 
roughly 12 euros, something like that. Um, again, not a bad price, but but they're offering you two choices here. You can get it for gold, or you can get it, or you can get it for gold, or you can get it for real life cash. Up to you. Then they've got the T15 and the Panzer II J. Now the Panzer II J is a good tank, it's a very nice tank, but only if you like, you know, rattling around in those bottom tiers. If you like rattling around in those bottom tiers, then you know, not bad. It's going for what, four dollars, roughly, roughly four dollars, maybe five dollars, give or take. And then you got the Action X, that's still in there. That's going for roughly twenty dollars. Then you got the Cromwell B Berlin, which is roughly five. Yeah, that's roughly five dollars. And the Panzer IV, oh, that's a great tank, by the way. So it's the Cromwell Berlin. So two great tanks, both in the uh, in the mid tier tier six. Really good tanks. I do like the Panzer IV. I think it's a fantastic little tank. So both going for about five dollars with some discounts. Then you got the Batchet Burask. Container. I've just done a video on the back chat. I like it. Um, I didn't actually do the crates, to be honest with you. Um, I got it in the in the Christmas event. In fact, I got it three times in the Christmas event. Um, so no, I didn't get it in the crates. You are guaranteed it if you get. I think it's twenty odd crates or something. I, I can't remember. What's the drop rate? Well, let's have a look. I mean, it's a five percent drop. No, yeah, it's a five percent drop chance. So, look, I'm not a fan of crates, but I'm not here to tell you how you spend your hard-earned cash. If you wish to spend it on crates, that's up to you. Personally, mm, mm, I, I don't buy crates anymore, guys, to be honest with you. Anyway. Oh, look, I've got a gold box I haven't bought. Um, then we got the Chieftain 95 and the T95E2. Really, both of those are good tanks. I like the Chieftain, to be fair. Uh, the T95 E2 is a bit... Mm, but you're getting two tanks for 8,500. They're pretty decent tanks, to be honest with you. They're not too bad. Hey, Kiko. So, think about that one. I mean, the Chieftain T95, I do like that tank. I think it's a really nice tank. Not many people like it, not many people play it, but I like it. I think it's a cool little thing. Then you've got the uh, Fire and Ice again, this time for 7,500. You're getting two tanks for that price. So you're getting uh, the Glacial and you're getting the Blaze. I'm not a big fan of the Blaze or the Glacial, to be honest with you, but I have got them. Um, if I had the money, I'd be buying this rather than this, to be fair. I'd be buying the Chieftain T95 package rather than the Fire and Ice package. Then you've got 360 days of premium time for 12,000 gold. That's not bad when you think about it. It's really not bad. Then Snowgun Attachment for 4,000 gold. Mm, seems a bit overpriced. <laughs> And you've got the Merry Concealment Container. It was for a camo that you got for free, almost. Weapons of Victory. You've got the IS-2 and the T-34-85 Victory. Mm -hmm. I mean, both tanks are mediocre. They're not great. But they are collectors. And with collector tanks, you know, snap them where you can. They're both sort of mid-tier. So 6,000 gold for two, two tanks that very rarely come around. It's not too bad. If you, want, if you didn't get the T-34 shielded, well, you can still get those certificates. Then you've got a Blitz bundle, which uh, shows you all these things, but when you click on it, you're not actually getting any, any creditos. You're getting 750 gold. So yeah, it's, it's up to you. And we've got the resources, normal stuff in there. Blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. And then we've got the tanks, and we've all seen these anyway. They're at the top. Um, it just means you can get the the, the individual tanks individually, obviously. Um, and then we got the gold, all the different gold bundles are still in there. Look, and then you got the premium account. I mean, there you go. Look, three hundred and sixty days is twelve thousand gold, so that's not bad. And thirty days is two thousand gold. So when you look, go back and look at some of those offers that you're getting, you know, that's not bad. The containers, well, wow, these are the freebies. So let's open one and see what we get, apart from boosters. Boosters. <laughs> Uh, you know, the containers are... Oh, I've got an epic. Containers are containers. Ooh, boosters. Uh, what can you say? And then you've got the um, the AMX30 container and stuff like that. And all the other containers. And, uh, yeah, I keep scrolling down. It's just going to keep giving me containers. Upon container. Upon container. Upon container. And, of course, avatar container. Everybody needs that. Because they don't give you avatars for free. So, that's what's in the store at the moment. Let's have a look at the chat. I and mean, even considered weekends being different across the world. Yeah, they used to be. Um, although, as I said, nowadays, the, the here in Dubai, they've changed it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, do you really get a bargain through the auction? Yeah, I did. I, um, I bought two tanks in the auction. I bought the AMX Defender and the T5. Um, both of which I consider to be a bargain. I mean, I bought the T5 for what, 6,000 something? I think it was 6,000. And I bought the AMX Defender for 6,500. So I, I didn't, sp you know, th those two tanks came in crates. I didn't buy them in the crates. I waited, I bailed my time. And yeah, I, I mean, I got, uh, I, I was lucky. I got a good deal, basically. So yeah, you can get relatively decent deals in the store. Um, anyway. Let's uh, let's let's put some replays in and let's chat about what's coming up in the game. So, a couple of things. Number one, as of tomorrow, for those of you interested in tournaments, um, EU server is hosting a community tournament, basically, which is going to be the Blitz Premium Cup. Um, that's a community tournament, initially organized, initially conceived by. Wild Winds Alpha, Rolling Swarm, and Cougar, I believe, from Imor. And it, it's in its third iteration, so this is BPC number three. Some of the top clans are playing. There are some exceptions. Uh, Endgame are not there. BPS are not there. And APA are not there. But, uh, it's a, so, you know, when you look at the top eight, that, that's three of the top eight are not there. But the rest of the top eight are there for, for EU. And the others are basically being, the other numbers are being made up by top 16 tank uh, clans, basically. Some of which do, a, are able to get into the top eight. So, so you know, that, that, that starts tomorrow. Um, lots of streams going on tomorrow. I mean, I'm streaming one of them. Um, Robert85, I think Rolling Swarm. In fact, I'll give you the list. I don't know why I'm going from memory when I've got the list in front of me. I'm just being a muppet. Although Discord, when, I, when I'm streaming at the moment, Discord is being a particular pain in the butt, if I'm being honest. It just seems to go on in like colossal go slow, does Discord. Um, and it's, yeah, there we go. So tomorrow it's, um, I will be streaming Immol versus TTT. New Beta will be streaming uh, his choices, <laughs> whatever his choices were. Rolling Swarm will be streaming uh, Serenity versus ZGS, followed by Vale and Aretti. Oh, I'm doing ZGS and, Ch and CHRD after that. Uh, Dolik Twow will be streaming Aretti versus Raid, followed by Loka versus Vale. Um, Oh, I didn't realise we were playing Vale. Uh, Loka, to be honest with you. Robert85 is also streaming, and Lucifer's Shadow will be doing CHRD versus Vale and Ray versus Serenity. So that, that's the listings for tomorrow. Um, and we'll be going out again on uh, on Tuesday, on the 11th. And that'll be, I'll be streaming Reti to ZGS, followed by TTT um, versus Val, followed by TTT versus Sparta. New Beta will be doing his choices. Rolling will be doing Loka versus TCT, Sparta versus Loka, Vale versus JTS. Dolik will be doing Serenity versus CHRD, CHRD versus Reti, and then Serenity versus Reti. Robert is just streaming the Joneses, uh, mainly because they're a Spanish clan and he's a Spanish speaker. Although they're not really a Spanish clan anymore, they've got quite a few Czechs in there as well, and Slovaks. And then we've got Lucifer's Shadow, he's doing all of Raid on the 11th. And Exit, I forgot about him, is doing on the 10th, Val and Sparta, Sparta and Imor. And on the 11th, Val versus Imor, Sparta, Loka, Loka, Imor. So lots and lots of stuff going on. Um, I know there's only 40, 14 of you watching, though most of you are not into tournaments. But if any of you feel like, uh, you know, donating or sponsoring to the tournament, by all means, do so. Just go in, you know, drop Wildlands Helper and notes. Every little helps, even a dollar or a euro or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, that's the BPC out the way. Next, let's talk about the highly anticipated Russian lights. So the update is due to hit soon. I don't know when. I have no idea when. I don't know if it's going to be middle of the week. I don't know if it's going to be towards the end of the month. Um, so I don't know when the update's going to come. But part of this update 
is going to be the highly anticipated Russian light tanks. Okay. Now, a couple of things about these Russian light tanks. I think tier 8, tier 9 and tier 10 will have a new spotting mechanic. And that new spotting mechanic is causing quite a lot of consternation. Excuse me, I want to have some coffee. It is a coffee chat after all. Now the consternation is this. At this moment in time, regardless of what tank you're in, when you're spotted, you are lit up for 10 seconds. Now that 10 seconds, that's a great game by the way. Now that's 7,500 in a T26 Microforce. How are you doing my friend? That's not a bad game that at all. Um, let's have another replay ongoing whilst I'm talking in the background. Uh, ah, here we go. This is Coworld of APA in the T-54 Shark. Nice tank for Shark. Remember, it's in the storage mode. So, well, as I was saying, at the moment, when you're spotted, you are lit up for 10 seconds. So, basically, what you need to do, you need to sort of hang back, count down the 10 seconds, and then your camo is reset. What will happen with the new mechanic, only on these Russian lights, it's not going to be rolled out against all the light tanks. It's only the Russian lights. If they hit you, if they fire a shot into you, apart from a blind shot, so you get spotted, they shoot you, and they bounce, you will stay lit up for 20 seconds. Okay? So trying to reset your camo isn't going to be the easiest thing to do, because 20 seconds in, in a game can be almost an eternity. Now, I'll... Okay. I don't know if it's a good or a bad. I mean, look, I, I was speaking to the CCs about this, and I, I, I said to Martin Dogger, I said, with the greatest of respect, you know, half the player base haven't got a clue about how they're spotted, let alone resetting their camo. You know, they see a light bulb go off and they think, oh, I don't know what that means. It, it means maybe I'm thinking, or maybe I should be thinking, or something. They, they, they don't realise it means they've been spotted. And they certainly don't make an active, you know, decision to reset their camo not really not really and i'm talking about a majority of the newish players and you know you know there, there are there are the veteran players and the serious players who obviously know what spotting mechanics is all about and they'll do their best to go and hide their tank and reset their camo but a majority of the player base won't do that so this 20 seconds being lit up isn't actually going to make oodles a difference i don't think to the majority of the player base, but uh, uh, you know, I stand. I may stand corrected. See, Discord is really draining my FPS. Um, so that, there's that. Will it have an impact on the tournaments um, and the and the other players? Well, look, in tier ten and tier nine, you're going to get the better players, and the better players are going to know how to use it. And Discord is really, really struggling at the moment. Let me just close Discord a minute. So if anybody's trying to chat with me, you have to do it on here because Discord is just killing. OBS at the moment. Um, so uh, now I've, I've disabled Discord and the FPS has gone straight back up. I think Discord is being overloaded at this moment in time, that's all. And they've got to try and sort that out. Anyway, so for the tournaments, etc., etc., I don't think it's going to be such a big deal, not for the tournaments, because, you know, it's a different type of play style. The OP players, the pro players, well, you know, give them anything and they're going to exploit it and make it look like it's broken and should be nerfed in, into oblivion. Will they, will they actually come in? Well, I don't know, is the honest answer. I don't know if Wargaming will change it. I don't know if Wargaming will turn around and say, oh, you know, thinking about it, it was a bad idea. Um, 20 seconds is too long and maybe they'll drop it to 13 seconds or 15 seconds or something along those lines. I just don't know. <coughs> But there's a lot of there's a lot of concern about this spotting mechanic. Me personally, well, until you actually roll out and experience it, I don't think you can say you can go into an open test. You can do the open test to get blue in the face, but the open test doesn't really give you a massively true reflection of how it's going to work in the game. Not really, because the open test is limited players, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, and it gives you it gives you a taster. That's all, um, and. People exploit open test, you know, they, they, they do things in open test that they wouldn't necessarily do in an actual game environment because open test is not the gaming environment. 
So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much one of these are, uh, well, let's wait and see. And if it is a disaster, then I'm pretty certain that it's not going to be that difficult for Wargaming to change it, amend it, or break Hey, Christo, hello, thank you very much. From W2B. That's absolutely lovely, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. So, I don't know, is the honest answer. And as I said, it's not going to be that difficult, I don't think, for, for Wargaming to change it, if strictly necessary. So, let's wait and see. I mean, the important thing is we're getting a new line. The important thing is we're getting the Russian lights. That's the important thing. Who cares about the spotting mechanic at the moment? That's a great game in the shark. Who cares about the spotting mechanic at the moment? I mean, do I? No, not really. Not really. Um, I'm looking for a, a 1B game that I did on Himmelsdorf. That's the one. I'll play that in a minute. Because... Um, Somebody asked me if I thought it was OP, and it was Panama to Panama. Um, so that's that's what I'm thinking. Let's 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 welcome the fact that we're getting a new tank line, Russian lights, and let's wait and see what happens with the spotting mechanic. Now, the concept wouldn't be. I was asked earlier, do I think it's OP? And I'm going to play this replay. Okay. Personally, now you know. Look, I get into a lot of trouble by all the other YouTubers, especially the bigger YouTubers saying this I don't think any tank is truly OP okay I, I, I think there are very powerful tanks they're very strong tanks but you know if I put one of the if I put truly spectacular players in in the worst tank in the game like let's let's say I put one of the best players in the game into an Alecto you'll all be telling me that it, it needs an armor but and it needs to be nerfed on its armor or, or something and if I stick the worst player into, say, an Annihilator or even a Smasher, then you'll be arguing that it needs a buff. So, whilst tanks are incredibly strong, I think that the player behind the steering columns brings a lot to this game. Now, the the one B, the concept one B, I, I think I don't think it is an OP tank. It's how you play it. Now, I'm going to give that one B on the other side. A hard time here now he could equally give me a hard time but he's not going to so I'm just gonna keep smacking his top hatch and that's all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna smack his so I'm raising my gun to try and stop him from smacking my top hatch and as you can see I'm bouncing him but that's all I'm gonna do now it's a great tank when it's hauled down but it has got exposure on the top hatch and it's the same with the five the 50 B I mean these guys are just poking out a little bit much and allowing me to exploit that it's 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 that straightforward it's got a pretty it's got a good turn of speed it's got a pretty decent gun it, it's got good gun depression but what did i say it's like asking me do i think the e5 is broken or op no not in any stretch of the imagination and i don't think the concept 1b is broken now look I've seen there are videos going out there from more notable YouTubers than me saying it's totally smashed, it's totally broken, it's totally OP. No, it's not. It, it, it's not. It's easily defeatable. Um, it, 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 it's a nice tank. It is a nice tank. It's, it's versatile um, for a heavy, but it's by no stretch of the imagination OP. And I, I wish people would stop saying this. Um, if I'm being honest, you know, I wish, you know, certain YouTubers would stop saying that certain tanks are broken or OP because it gives this false sense to the player base that if they get this tank, they're suddenly going to be playing and winning more games. And that's not the case. You know, it is not the case. And it, it, it gives this false impression that the tank is easy to play, requiring little to no skill, which is just bollocks. If I'm being honest with you, absolutely bollocks. Right, well, now I'm going to see if I can get Discord working again, just in case people have jumped in. Um, let's see if I can get it working again without killing the FPS too much. Uh, but I think Discord is overloading the system a bit too much because it generally does that, you know. And if, it, if, it, if, if the app is killing it, then what I'll do, I'll switch 
to Discord on, on Google. It's like, it's, see, I'm opening Discord now and it's dropped my FPS down to 30. It's a killer, I tell you. Now I'm saying it's got an encoding overload. <laughs> so, but what I mean, yes, yeah, down to 29 now, look. And that's Discord for you guys. I mean, Discord is just, just kills everything. So, but what do you guys think? I mean, do you guys think it's it's broken? Do you guys think it's, you know, and I was, you know, I did 4.7K there, had a good time, but I was exploiting the concept one bee's hatch. Um, okay, I only got a second class, and this is what I want to show you. I mean, the other guy was this chap here. He's not a bad player at all. You know, he's got a 60, nearest damage, 60% win rate after, uh, after just under 6,000 battles. But I'm exploiting all the knowledge that I've built up over my 30 odd thousand battles to smack his hatch. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's not broken. It's far from broken. And uh, my good friend Galaxy Inquisitor is also agreeing with me here. It's far from OP. And I, I, I totally agree with you. It, it, this is not, it's not an OP tank. It's not an OP tank. And, you know, when tanks come out, everybody jumps onto this bandwagon. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's OP. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. And they're not, guys. Okay. And, and don't, don't, don't fall for these false flags. Okay. Because, what can you say? There you go. What do I think about the 60 TP? Um, I like the 60 TP. I think it's a great tank. Um, I think it's it's a formidable tank. And uh, in the right hands, I mean that thing that that thing is is is. Christo, you're right. <laughs> it's not OP. Um, it's just not. Uh, I'm going to show you. I, I, I'll show you um, Cure Bunty in the in the in Naval Frontier in his concept. And it's 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 pretty much how he plays it, rather than and it, he exploits the mistakes of the other team, rather than the tank being you know totally broken or OP. So um, yeah, no, Galax is right. I mean, the AMX last year was hyped the same way. Again, not an OP tank, and and he go. I mean, the sixty TP, yeah, it's strong. A lot of people said, oh, it's going to replace the E one hundred. It, it doesn't replace the E100, the two, you know, we've got three super heavy tanks now with similar sort of parameters. We've got the E100, we've got the VK72, and now we've got the 60TP. Um, they are all different play styles and they all bring something different to the game. Now, the 60TP is by far, out of the three of them, got the weakest of all ammo racks. You know, and, you know, I've ammo racked... <laughs> I've ammo racked a load of these tanks, uh, to be honest with you. And when I was doing the the Blitz Cup on RU, we saw a load of ammo racks in this thing. So the 60 TP is 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 a formidable tank, but but in the wrong hands or even in the right hands, but in the wrong place, you can get you know you can have a really bad day in that tank. It it's it's got lots of parts of it that are easily penned. Whereas, for example, you take them, people say, oh, but the E100's cheeks. Well, the E100's cheeks are penned with your premium ammunition more over than your, than your standard ammunition. And if you swap your premium ammunition to 60 TP, there's, there's lots of parts of the 60 TP that you can pen as well. Don't get me wrong, though. I mean, it is a formidable tank. And at this moment in time, you know, you know when a tank is formidable, um, when the pro team starts spamming them in the tournaments. And at the moment, we have got a lot of 60 TP strats going out there because the pros know it's a formidable tank. It's got massive damage output. It's got a relatively good reload for a super heavy. It's got good armor and, and it is, for all intents and purposes, uh, not slowing going forward. You know, it's not as slow as the VK-72. It's not as slow as an E100. So it has got some good parameters going for it notwithstanding its ammo rack capability. But yeah, it's a beautiful tank. The 60TP Hego is a beautiful tank. Jack is here. Hello, Jack. We've already spoken about BPC. 
Oh, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, I did it at the beginning. <laughs> yes, ah, cool, Bunty, this is your replay, my friend. So mm. We're just talking about, somebody asked, do I think that the Concept 1B is OP? And I said, no, I do not. I do not think it's a broken tank. I do not think it's OP in any way, shape or form. I, um, I think it's a nice tank. And I've just, hang on, because my, my Ed friend has just disconnected for some strange non reason. And they're still disconnected. Don't know why. So, I mean, I can't hear Jack at the moment, but Jack can hear me, and you lot can hear me, and you lot can hear Jack. Oh, I can you. hear you. We're back after the uh, headphone failure. No, nope. still got a headphone failure. Come on, headphones. I can't hear anybody because the headphones just aren't working. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I need new headphones. Maybe I need to put Jack. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Maybe now? Maybe. No, no? yes, no. <laughs> <coughs> ah, there we go. Sorry about that. Right. That was a complete headphone failure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's still doing it. It's just not connecting for some reason. Right. Can you hear me now, then? I don't know why. It's very mm. annoying. All right, I'm going to have to stick Jack onto loudspeaker, which means you're going to hear him loud. Right. <laughs> Find him. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, Jack. Sorry, I've got a complete and utter headphone failure. Right. right. I can hear. I can, it. Hear I, I can see, I can that. see that. I don't know why. I don't. Know, I don't uh -huh. I'll have to check that out a bit. So I've had to put you on speaker, so people may be listening to you twice. <laughs> 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 or, or they may not. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be picked up through my. Uh, Microphone as well as anyway, it doesn't matter. So yeah, we were talking about the one B being OP, and I said no, it's not. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, it's it's a nice tank, but I don't think it's totally broken. But some people do believe it is. But you know, each to their own. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say about that. Have you got the one B? No. No. Well, there you go. So, have you got the sixty TP? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So what do you think of that one? I mean, I, I, again, I don't think it's an OP tank. I think it's very strong. Mm. It's a great tank, but... Is it no, really I don't like, this, don't tank, like this tank, to be honest. <laughs> I think uh, the gun is not good. Uh, this uh, is this a is huge a reason, reason why I don't, don't like this tank, but the armor is pretty decent. Pretty decent. So there is that. But usually tanks with decent armor and bad gun won't go down well for me. Well, that's that's fair enough. I mean, it, it I mean it does have a, a trolley gun. Let's be honest, it's not it's not mm -hmm. the easiest. Very, very inaccurate, very I, think. I think. Yeah, but as people are talking about it, I mean, I've got a rolling swarm sixty TP replay that he sent me, so I'll stick that on because people seem mm -hmm. to like the sixty TP. And it, it's don't get me wrong, you know, it's as I said, when the pro teams start spamming a tank, then you know that there's something to that tank <laughs> because they yeah. didn't spam yeah. it out. <laughs> But also, also tournament is, is very based, based on, on good armor, good armor. because, because mm -hmm. they're they are they're pros. pros. They are able they're to able to, uh, they're able to aim well and penetrate their shots. So, the guns that won't matter, won't matter too much in that uh, as much as, as, much as, the, as armor the armor in that sense, sense probably. Mm -hmm. But you could but you have the same argument for armor to be honest with you. But but usually tournament tournaments you're seeing very. Well armored well tanks, armored tanks. apart from apart maybe from that Vickers light, light, which is for another road. Yeah. Yeah, there is that. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, I was saying earlier because I get into trouble with a lot of people. There is an Echo Galaxy because I can't hear Jack because my headphones are not working. That's the problem. Um, so you're hearing him coming through my mic at the same time as I try and sort my headphones out. Um, that's why you're getting the Echo at this moment in time. I mean, I could drop the echo by, I mean, I'm trying to get the headphones working still, but it's just, for some reason, they've decided, no, 
<laughs> I don't know why they've just decided no, but they've just decided no, we don't want to play. Um, and they've decided to give up Ghost. So they keep coming on, and they then they disconnect for some reason. So there you go. It's co they've come on. Maybe they're going to stay on. <laughs> and that way I can drop the echo. Jack, you're still there? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm still here. Yeah. So I can possibly drop the echo at the moment because because I've got the headphones to technically work again. I don't know how long they're going to last before they say, no, we've had enough, go away. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I get into a lot of trouble when I say, especially from other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, I get into a lot of trouble when I turn around and say, I don't think tank, you know, particular tanks are OP or broken. Um, I mean, Jack, do you think there are OP tanks out there? I mean, I know there's a broken tank out there. It's called the Keniotsu because it's really <laughs> broken. It is actually a broken tank, simple fact. Mm -hmm. Not, not, a, yeah, not really so. a tank that is like obviously better, but but obviously there are, there are tanks that are comparatively better or maybe yeah fit to your playstyle. Let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I couldn't agree is, more. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't agree and more. This is why, I, for me, I think like uh, the the T sixty two A is one of the best tanks in tier ten. But I do think a lot of people would disagree with me. Uh, this Wait, is kind of the you... point here. I, I'm glad you raised that. I, I was yeah. on the World of Tanks Blitz official Discord yesterday, mm -hmm. and somebody and now I, you know I'm gonna guys, you guys in the chat, I, I want your view on this as well, and I certainly want your view on this. Somebody was arguing with me yesterday saying that the Leo one is the worst tier 10 ever. It oh, is no. by far the worst tier 10. And I was like, you know, hang on a minute. I've heard a lot of things in my time, but I've never heard, I've never heard anyone say that the Leo one is a truly awful tank. <laughs> well, um, I, I do, I do, I do saw a ranking before, a list before. And Leopard 1 ra was ranked really low. And I think also objectively, Leopard 1 is one of the worst performing tank uh, according to Blitz Stars. So I do see an argument there. But for me, it's far from being the worst tank, obviously. But it, I mean, it, it, here's the question though, Jack. Is it the tank yeah. or is it the player? Mm. Good question. I, I do think, uh, I think there is a huge uh, proportion being the player rather than the tank. Well, the reason I say that is because I, I mean I just did a I did a recent video on the bat chat uh, Buresque. Now mm -hmm. I tested that tank and I, I just couldn't get on with it. I, I really couldn't get on with it. I, I didn't mm -hmm. like it, and it, for me it was just awful. Mm -hmm. However, when I then got it and started playing it I, okay I, they do change but when they're generally on the test they're, they're slightly they're slightly better than they are when they're actually released but when i then started playing the bc i actually needed to adjust my play style to make the tank work so it's not the tank that is bad it was me playing the tank incorrectly was was my point and mm -hmm. it, I, I find to an extent that's the same with the leo and tanks like the Leo, the FE4202, etc., etc. These tanks that I like to call finesse tanks, they require a different type of play style. You, you can't just go out and do, you know, what you do in a super heavy, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. That that's that's why I, I I sometimes think maybe it's the player, not the tank. Maybe the players mm -hmm. are just a bit too overly enthusiastic in the tank sometimes which gives blitz stars it, it's 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 sort of downgrade mm -hmm, but I've, mm -hmm. the people in the chat say i mean i've got um yusuf saying leo one is one of the best cure bunty leo is great apart from the armor okay the armor is terrible galaxy leo is an amazing tank um you know so, so lots of people are saying that the leo is a nice tank and I really that's a great but that's a great battle by uh rolling by the way but i did i did a recent video today actually where i i, I showed some games in the leo and i don't know if i've got one game here that i showed on the leo on fort despair no i haven't got it i got rid of it 
But, um, I mean, I just went out on Fort Despair in a Leo, and I just farmed the bejesus out of it, to be honest with you. Sat at the side, just just, just farming. <laughs> farming damage. So, I, I don't think I've got a Leo replay. No, I don't have a Leo replay, unfortunately. No, I don't. But, uh, oh well, it happens. <laughs> but as I've got Wildwood's helper here, I'm going to stick in his clan wagon. <laughs> here, here on Canyon that he sent. Right. I mean, I have a couple of masteries. Daily damage. Oh, you do. Oh, that, that's what I'm thinking. Daily. I, I'm thinking that the main problem with tanks like the Leo is that yes, it is second line, and teams don't know how how to allow its play. <laughs> um, I, I mean, for right. me, Leo is very. <clears throat> it's it's a very versatile tank but also quite vulnerable so for me for me can't really uh, use it for any uh, for def defense it's somewhat like a uh, light tank that you have to flank and also find a way to mm. penetrate the side and uh, the, the the rear armor yeah yeah no I, I don't i don't disagree i mean there, there are certain tanks out there, not, you know, not all the tanks are easy to play, and they, they all require different play styles, is the thing, you know, I suppose is the point I'm trying to make. Mm -hmm. um, no, I agree with you, Christo, the Leo is for a more experienced player, and I don't disagree with you there. And I do think there are, there are easy tanks that are noob-friendly in Tier 10. I'm looking at you, IS-4, um, for example. And there are tanks that are... are totally totally difficult to play in, in tier 10 you know and i'm looking at ufv 4202 and the reason I, I i put the fv in there is because people think it's got oh it's got a pretty trolley turret when it hasn't it hasn't got no armor on the turret and to get the most out of that tank you know how to you need to know how to use the hesh gun and a lot of people struggle with the hesh gun to be fair and and, to, and speaking of FV four two and two, um, I, I mean you also have that heat gun, which I use it when I am not in platoon, and I would use the hash instead because you you can have your platoon mate to kind of spot the tanks for you, and you can and you can find it a bit easier to fly if you have your platoon mate with you, so that you can you yeah. have your platoon mate to kind of like distract the enemy forces. So for me, FV four two two is. It's very interesting because I I think it, you will find it easier to play when you use the heat gun. Uh, I, if you're I, I totally agree with you. If you if you stick the heat in rather than the hash, it does become an easier tank to play, because the hash gun is 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 quite difficult because it is effectively he. <laughs> and also, you don't have that uh, high penetration uh, mm -hmm. gun for you to penetrate the frontal armor of heavy tanks, which sometimes you might have to. You probably are stuck with that option uh, when you're alone. And platoon, you, I mean, you both can just communicate with one another and just figure out how to approach the battle. And if you're doing it alone, you can't really do that. Yeah, I, I totally. You know, so so there's always going to be tanks that are easier to play than other tanks. And in a, in a video I re I released earlier today, uh, one of the things I was trying to point out is. It's great when you watch YouTubers showing you reviews of tanks or whatever. And the thing that I'm trying to tell people to remember is you're seeing a sanitized version. You know, it may have taken them 10 games to get that footage, that one perfect game. And, you know, don't try to copy and paste them because you don't, you don't know the parameters of the game they were in it could have been a map that they that they're very good at that the, the enemy team may have been filled with um, you know new players or inexperienced players there are so many different parameters so um, you know you need to try and play your game rather than try to copy the style of a particular youtuber or pro by all means take their tips watch that you know learn from their tips but just don't try to copy and paste what you're seeing on youtube I mean, one one more thing to add uh, when you talk about really high damage game, uh, you also have to take into account that your uh, the the team that the player is in is generally not very good because if the team is really good, then the dam they they will do quite some damage and that will kind Correct. of lower your damage in the end. So 
that team that the 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 suspect the the the, the player in question is in uh, has to be to some degree not really good so that they can do quite a lot of damage in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no I, I, that's another good point. Yeah, there is Martin, and I can't help that. Um, and I've tried to desync it many, many times, and I've had it delay and no delay, and this on onto onto the onto Discord, and it's just. I mean, at the moment, um, I'm at three hundred and twenty micro microseconds. Um, it's offset, but it's not working, and I, I, I don't know what I need to do. I mean, I may even if I stick it up to three fifty, it doesn't help. To be honest with you, it's still there's a there's still an off stick. There's a there's still a sync offset. It, it's just it's a pain in the backside. To be honest with you, <laughs> to be to be perfectly perfectly fair. Um, no, it's true, Yusuf. You know, it it does take. Uh, uh, if, if you're doing a particular tank okay if you've got it in your mind let's say you want to do a video on the is7 okay unless you're incredibly lucky and you manage to get you know the first game you roll out in an is7 you get the perfect team and the perfect scenario then you know you don't have to do much but nine times out of ten you're not going to get the perfect team and you're not going to get the perfect scenario so you have to play at least 10 games in the is7 to get the footage that you need to do your video and you know with the greatest of respect to all the youtubers out there who do videos none of them have got a hundred percent win rates okay so if you haven't got a hundred percent win rate you, you buy by default you're losing battles yeah it's <laughs> by default <laughs> so you're not always going to see and this is the thing i mean people see this in eyes you know this is such a great game blah 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 and also as as, as jack says to get those high damage games isn't easy. And Yusuf, you mentioned there his Royal Fatness. And here's the point I'm trying to make. His Royal Fatness very rare, very rarely releases videos. He generally does streams, yeah? Now, he was doing a WZ11, whatever it is, 5A stream the other day. And he was really struggling in that tank. He was really struggling in that tank. And then, you know, I think it was... 12th game in or something he, he got a hall of fame in it he sort of did just shy of 8,000 damage but it took 12 games for him to get that game and he himself said you know this tank is becoming is being a complete pain in the backside today and it was because of the teams and it was because of this and because of that and he, he just struggled in it so that's the point i'm trying to make so be careful guys when you see these perfect games don't copy paste Take the tips, by all means. Just don't copy paste. It's always interesting. So the other thing we were talking about, Jack, earlier, um, mm -hmm. and again, you sort of missed most of it, was um, the new spotting mechanic. Ba -ba -ba. That's coming with the new light tanks, the Russian line. And I said, well, you know, it's, I, haven't, I haven't experienced it myself yet. Um, I did get into the open test. I've seen videos of it. I've seen reviews of it. <coughs> but open test, as much as it tries to replicate a realistic game environment, it's not a realistic game environment as such. So I'm pretty much of a wait and see how it will actually affect the game. Um, I said to Martin Dogger recently, I don't think it'll have so much of an impact on, uh, on the random games. Because most players nowadays don't even know about. Uh, no, thank you, Christo, and thank you very much for your for your kind super chat. Very, very, very nice indeed. Um, you know, majority of the players at the moment don't even know how they're getting there, how, what what the light bulb is, let alone resetting their camo. <laughs> <laughs> so ten seconds or twenty seconds makes no makes does make no difference at all to them. <laughs> What do you think about it? I mean, I know you weren't, you didn't do the open test either. Um, but, you know, do you think, and I was talking to Object 3 as well. He doesn't think it's going to have uh, a massive impact on the tournament side, to be honest with you. That's what he said. Gladkey, I've already played your replay. God, you, you always come late, dude. 
You came early, then you were late. <laughs> so what do you think about that one, Jack? This, uh, the, the, the Russian lights having to be able to spot tanks for 20 seconds and keep them lit up. No comment on this. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how it will go, but I'll wait and see. But I do well, think uh, it will probably replace the Vickers light. Um, potentially, maybe. Yeah. Um... I'm, I'm pretty much the same. Really, Al Yusuf, how many damage are you trying to do in this thing? Uh, I'm pretty much the same as you. I'm going to wait and see uh, what the impact is because I don't know yet, is the honest answer. I just don't know. Oh, Panama. That, that's a really tricky question for me because I just hate tier 8 in its entirety. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say, what is my favourite tier 8? Uh... Don't know, because <laughs> I just hate tier eight. <laughs> um, I, I go there to do videos mainly. That's about it. <laughs> um, if if I have, if I can avoid tier eight, I'll avoid tier eight. Um, to be to be perfectly frank and fair, so it's. But I, I suppose I mean one of my favourites. I suppose will have to be the Tiger too, um, mainly because it's it's a bit of a beast in that tier. But I, I seriously really dislike tier eight, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of any of the tanks in the tier, to be honest with you. I'd much prefer to jump into tier nine than tier eight. If the truth be known. So yeah, difficult one for me to answer that. What about you, Jack? Do you have a favorite tier eight? Mm, not really. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played tier 8 in a really long time, but I also hate tier 8 for a good reason because the medium zone lights are just significantly worse than the tier 10 counterparts. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, I'm just, you know, I just find I, I'm just not a big fan of that tier. If, if it's not going to be premium spamming, it's, it's, you know, some of the tanks are just meh. <laughs> Is the honest answer. I mean, I you know the Louver is not great. The IS six is not great. Um, yeah, it's it's a tricky one for me about that. What about tier ten? What's my favorite tank? Ah, oh, the Mouse. The Mouse is my favorite tank in tier ten. Although although that is it, no, it'll never be replaced. It'll always be the Mouse. But uh, I mean, there there are a couple of tanks I don't like in tier ten. Um, not many, to be honest with you. I hate the Sheridan. Can't stand the damn thing. Mainly because I can't play it, um, but I don't like it anyway. I, I really, oh, Bunny, what are you doing here, man? Nice to see you, dude. Um, I hate the Sheridan. Uh, I couldn't play it when it had missiles, and I can't play it when it doesn't have missiles. I just can't play it. I just cannot play that tank. The Death Star, I hate the Death Star with a passion. It's a good, if you want to go out on a stream with your buddy to have a bit of fun and do some memes, but aside from that, I, I, I can't take that tank seriously. Um, the Chinese TD, the WZ, don't like that. I think it's just a big box. It's a goldfish bolt, let's be honest. And I don't like it, even though it's been, you know, recently tinkered with, still don't like it. Um, and there was another tank that I really didn't like in tier 10, but the name escapes me for the moment because I obviously have quite a lot of dislike for it. But uh, yeah, I mean, the Sheridan for me is, is a tank I really don't like. The concept one be yeah, it's okay. It's it's basically like an E five, just smaller. Um, it but it, it's similar to an E five, to be honest with you. But the vast majority of uh, tier ten I do like. I do like tier ten. And I'm 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 getting to like the grill a lot more recently. To be fair, I'm I'm enjoying experimenting with the different gameplay on the grill. Same with the FV. I'll show you an FV replay in a minute where I front lined it. Sorry. Well, that's okay. I'll show you an FV replay in a minute. I front line the damn thing. And I, I, I enjoy the FV. The FV4005. I think it's a fantastic tank, to be honest. I do think it's a great tank. You see, yeah, I know. I, see, the thing is, I just can't play that tank. Um, and this goes back to what I was saying earlier about it's not the tank, it's me. And that's what I was trying to get to earlier. It, it's uh, me and the Sheridan just don't get on. Um, I, I can't get my head around its gameplay, to be honest with you. Stick me in a bat chat or a Vickers, I'm fine. 
Stick me in the T92, I'm okay. Stick me in a Sheridan, I, I seem to have too many brain farts to play the tank. <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, it's it's hard. I mean, the the penetration is one of the main things that uh, that can make you struggle quite a bit. Oh, it just drives me insane. Um, to be honest with you, and it, it, it it's just one of those tanks that me and it just don't see eye to eye, um, and we probably never will. Um, I mean, I, they, I'm not a great lights player at the best of times. Um, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, the Sheridan just adds that extra problem for me. Whereas it's a light tank, I'm not the best lights player, and it's got a long reload, and it's got crap penetration. So, <laughs> you throw all those things into the mix, and I'm not going to do well in it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those things. But as I said, it's not the tank. It, it, it's me, because I know people do really well in the tank. Uh, and I know it's me and it's my game style, my play style, and it's my attitude to the tank. So that's probably why I don't like it. Because um, I know, don't, don't, don't start thinking that I'm sort of saying that the tank is, is bad or whatever. It's not, clearly, because lots of people enjoy it, lots of people play it. it. It really is me. I just don't get on with that tank. <laughs> so... No, no, it is. The, the, you said, I mean, the T90, the T92, I, I can play that. I don't have a problem with that tank. Mainly because, I, you know, I understand its armour. The, the Sheridan, I don't understand it. it it's got a fat ass, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I, I just, it's just a tank I will never, I'll never truly get to grips with. So I don't play it that often. So... Even when the silly game modes come out, I very rarely take out the Sheridan missile because, yeah, I'm, I just struggle in it. Whereas tanks like the Ship Barn, oh, God, I love that tank. Absolutely adore that tank. I think that tank is, like, quite easy 4K damage tank. E even, for an, even for a relatively inexperienced player. You've still got to know how to play it, and you can't, you can't, you know, you can't be overly stupid in it. But... Um, but you know, I just love the ship barn. I think the FP four zero zero five is a fantastic mm -hmm. tank. Um, I struggle I with that tank. So much fun! D really? There you go. Yeah, man. it's struggle. It's, it's 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 you know it just depends on our play styles. Yeah. <laughs> True. And, and that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, Dejon. It's got funky armor. It's 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 yeah. Yeah, but I'm not raging on it. It's just, it's just a tank. Me and it, we will never see eye to eye. <laughs> Basically, we just <laughs> won't get on. <laughs> and that suits me down to the ground. I mean, it, it frees me up to do to play other tanks in in tier ten that that I enjoy. And that was the other thing I was trying to say in, in a video re release recently. You know, if you if you're struggling, if you've got like that forty seven, forty eight percent win rate, and you're really struggling to break out of that no matter how hard you try you know there is a tendency to say oh it's the team it's the this it's the that my advice is jump into a tank that you are comfy in that you are really comfortable in that you've got a pretty decent win rate in in the tank and roll out in that and spam it for you know as many battles as you're happy with don't be in a rush to get into, you know, to jump into the next tank or whatever on a different line. And uh, that, that's what I did. With, that's what I do with a lot of tanks. So recently I've been spamming the Grill and the Leo, to be honest. Because I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get used to them. I'm starting to learn out, you know, some of the tricks that those tanks can come up with. Um, so if you, if you, the more you play them, the more comfortable you get, the more comfortable you get the, the that's a great game, by the way. The more comfortable you get, the easier you will tend to find the game overall. Uh, where's this FV? So I, I, my advice, don't do what I'm doing in this game in the FV. Okay, it's an FV4005. Um, I'm playing, I'm going to play it incredibly aggressively. <laughs> um, I said in the video, I read the, the, the makeup of the teams. And you can see they've only got, they've got a Leo and a Progetto. But they're predominantly heavy, and they've got a bat chat. So I know three of them, 
are going to go to the hill. Those two are going to hide at the bottom and that E100 is going to flank. So what I decided to do is front line the ship on, <laughs> on mines. <laughs> I'm going to front line it and, wow, the game will speak for itself. But seriously, this is what I mean about copy-paste. Don't copy-paste <laughs> because this is like... The, 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 all, all the planets aligned for me to be able to do this tactic on this game, on this map. Um, it, it, it's not your normal tactic with a ship bard, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So, so, so don't think, oh yeah, I can frontline a ship bard. But, but saying that, I've always found, to be honest with you, that the ship bard is a much easier tank to play if you're literally on the arse of your heavies which is more second line. You're not front lining as such, but you're, you're, you're almost rolling with the heavies because it's, it's got a fantastic gun, the ship bar, and it's got a massive profile. And, you know, I remember trying to get used to this tank w was difficult. So I, I play it quite aggressively and I have a lot of fun in doing so. And as I said, I mean, once you get the hang of this one, you can play it like an AMX 50B, I think. And that's why I think I like this tank. And that's why I think I'm slightly aggressive in it. Because you really can play it like a 50B. Once you're used to it. And, you know, 50, if you play the 50B well, you know, that's an easy 4K damage tank. This tank, same, same. Once you get, once you've got used to it, and once you, once you understand that, you know, it's not too dissimilar to a 50B, then you'll, you'll easily do 4K damage games in it. And that's the way I see the ship part. I, 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 I just think it's a 50B. But I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, I know Jack, you don't like it. Um, <laughs> but what do you guys in the chat think? I mean, I mean, most of you will probably play 50B, so you know the, the strengths and the weaknesses of that tank. I mean, it's got great DPM, it's got a great, well, it hasn't got great DPM, but it's got, a, it's got the ability to put a lot of damage down quickly, and then it's got that long reload. But it also has quite a high profile and quite a weak arm, quite, quite a weak turret at the best of times, especially on the sides. Um, the ship arm is no different, I, I don't think. You know, you just got to get your mindset differently, I think. But yeah, that's, what, that's just my view. It'd be interesting to see what you have to say, to be honest. Jack's gone quiet because he doesn't like the tank. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'm just not used to the tank. So there you go. Frontlining an FV4005 on mines. Uh, 4.7k damage. Yeah, see, it can be done. It can be done. Only a first class as well. I'll take it. Let's have a look, because that's, that's one British TD. Jack has also sent me a 183, a tank I truly detest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seriously, truly detest. Uh, I mean, I, I hate the tank as well, but maybe I'm yeah. starting to get the hang of it, but we'll see. I don't think I'll ever get the hang of it. <laughs> 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 um, I, I just don't. I, I think this one should have been the collector, and the badger should have been the tech tree, but hey, that's just mm -hmm. my way of thinking. Right. But yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of this tank. Well, Yusuf, it's funny you should say that because in the video I also released, I'm playing a grill on desert sands, and there's a there's a there's a there's a ship barn hiding behind a house, and I kill him with an HE because the very like the slight the slightest sliver of his turret is sticking out above the top of the house. <laughs> It's, 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 it is a tall, tall tank, and it is easily smackable. Yeah, again, Yusuf, the, the 183, it's either huge damage or zero damage. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like no middle ground. <laughs> and Jack, there, a 50B, I mean, that was, that was very convenient for you, Jack. 50B hurt around the corner, side on turret. Oh, we we'll might as well load a little bit of a hash and take almost all his hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nice when the team, when the opposition presents like that, <laughs> to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. Free real estate. Oh, 
the Brigetto is going to do the same. And he does 900. There you go. Trying to over angle. <laughs> yeah, that is true, Yusuf. The house was hiding in front of the ship arm. <laughs> hey, level two trading. How you doing, dude? But yeah, I mean, I mean, one of the one of the downsides to this tank. I don't know if you you ever find this, Jack. Because of the long reload, because it's almost it's it's almost nineteen seconds. When you're presented with two targets, and, and this goes against the grain of the game, do you think I don't want to hit the low hit point one, which only got two hundred HP, because I've got to wait another nineteen seconds for for my for my for my shells, and I could be on a max roll. So I'm going to hit the one with all its HP, and it sort of it's it's. It sort of goes contrary to how you're meant to play the game. Because the idea of the game is not to farm damage. The idea of the game is to, is to kill tanks and win. <laughs> and I always find that, you know, some players in the 183 will hold off shooting a low hit point tank because they want that big damage. Do you ever find mm -hmm. that? Oh, yeah, I do. But it also depends on the situation you're in. If you don't have any teammates around, you, do you definitely want to kill that tank because, mm. because at least the effective DP of the other team would be lower. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, you, you're saying that because you're coming from a voice of experience, but I see, you know, mm -hmm. new players will probably be thinking, oh, I want that big damage, I want that big damage, I want that big damage. And they may just hold fire on that, on killing that low hit point tank. Mm -hmm. it, it, I just find it a, a strange and bizarre. Nice mastery, by the way. Oh, thank you. Quite, quite a decent amount of credits as well. Look. Well, I just find it's one of those strange tanks that... You know, it's just a weird tank. And now I'm going to show another Rolling Swarm replay. It's not a mastery or anything. Rolling is very happy with this because he thinks he broke the bank. <laughs> 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 I, I, what I like is the chat, by the way. I do like the chat. So so keep your eye on the chat because Rolling doesn't say anything. And most of you here know Rolling Swarm, who he is and what he does. Rolling is a very good player. Um... And because he outplays another player, he gets basically told to report him because he's a bot, which is nice. <laughs> so this is what happens when you outplay somebody. They, they scream bot and tell everybody to report you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to be fair to Rowling, he, he hasn't got his... I don't know if he's got chat turned off. I don't think he has. But, you know, fair play to the guy. He, ha he holds his tongue all the way. And not, not, not many would do that. Some people would snap back and say, I'm not a bot or whatever. But it's, it's great. So you've got to watch the gameplay and watch the chat at the same time because I just think it's brilliant. And the guy who's shouting at him isn't a bad player, by the way. He's a good player. Um, but he was, he's not as good as rolling. And he was just outplayed. Simple. And it happens. It just happens that, you know, you are going to come across better players than you. <laughs> And they're going to outplay you. Simple as that. But he's playing a tank that, you know, the likes of Amunet, etc., etc., swear by. They think it's a fantastic tank. It's, I, I think it's okay. I don't think I'd go as far to say it's absolutely, truly fantastic. But I think it's a nice tank. Um, once you get used to the fact it's got a second turret on top of its turret, um, you know, you can get used to it. And it, it's got, again, it's pretty similar to the E5. And if you look closely, it's it's the hull is actually the concept one B, to be fair. If you look closely, so if you you know if you've got a concept one B, this tank is very 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 similar play style. So yeah, what makes it funnier, Yusuf, is that the person got outplayed by a bot. <laughs> yeah, that that's a good point actually. <laughs> if you if you if you're outplayed by a bot. Be quiet about it. Don't brag about it, because <laughs> it's not. It's not. You know, to be to be to, to to say that artificial intelligence as as outsmarted you <laughs> is not a good way to go. <laughs> good riddance. Hello, hey dude. So yeah, outplayed by a bot. Yeah, not 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 a thing I would want to brag about. To be honest with you. <laughs> but each to their own. But yeah, I mean, this, this tank, this T95, it, it's, it used to be pretty difficult to see and not many people roll out in it. I don't know. I, I, I think it's still probably one of the rarest tier 10s. Although, if you ask me, because I haven't got it, the rarest tier 10 is the 907 because I haven't got it. <laughs> it really annoys me. Oh, um, and also Super Conqueror, probably. 
I've got the Super Conk, I just haven't got the 907. And I was very disappointed. So, because I couldn't get it. I just couldn't get it in those snow globes. I got every other tank except that. So yeah, it was a very, Concept very... 1B for me. I got the Concept 1B. Um, I got the AMX CDC, which is what I, I wanted. I got the Batchat, which I wanted. I got the Ram Panzer, which I wanted. Um, but I couldn't get the 907 for love nor money. Just couldn't <laughs> get it. And uh, I was very disappointed. Very disappointed. Because it's the only one I'm missing. It's the only, it's, it's the only one. Because, I, again, I don't buy the crates. So, you know, when, I, when you see my videos on the crate tanks, remember, I don't buy the crates. Okay, so I'm not bullshitting you when I turn around and say I don't get the crates, etc. Et I don't buy the crates. Um, you know, here we go, troll. So it's the 60 TP who's having to go rolling. He starts it already. He's just been out playing and he doesn't like it. So, yeah. Yeah, so I don't buy the crates. That's why I haven't got the 907. And that's why I didn't have the TS-5. And that's why I didn't have the AMX Defender. Damn it, man, how you doing? So, oh, oh, he's a pay to win loser. There you go, pay to win <laughs> loser. Okay, I report you T95. He's not very happy, the 60TP, uh, to be honest with you. Calls him a bot in a minute, I think. Uh, I haven't changed anything, uh, Dejan. It's Discord. Uh, Discord is up and down like this. I think it's the Discord app. So what I might do next time is drop the app and go back to the web-based Discord. And I think it's the app because of where I am in the world. Because technically speaking, Discord is um, illegal to talk. So I think, I think that's why it struggles. Thompson, how are you doing? So I think that's what the issue is. I think it's the Discord app. So I may, I may actually go back to using the web-based Discord uh, because that's more stable, I think. I'll run it through Google Chrome rather than go through the app, and that that shouldn't drain the that shouldn't drain the memory so much, because I think what's happening is the app in the background is like working double time, to try and to try and keep up, um, and it, it 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 presents problems. I mean I think, I mean Jack had a similar instance the other day when we were doing the BPC um, qualifiers, he had the, the, there were certain things in the background running. That just absolutely drains OBS. What well, yours was Discord as well, wasn't it? Oh, uh, I I believe it's just uh, my computer acting up. But I, I, I yeah, which is why I, I I also has I also have lags when I she... play the game. Oh yeah, bro. yeah. Well, I, I play on I I play on the iPad, so I don't play on PC. I can't play on PC. I've got the Phase One Galaxy. Um... Oh, there you go. Look, three hundred and eleven thousand credits. Now, I just want to show you something. So, so rolling is a sixty-seven percent win rate player after sixty thousand battles with an average damage of over two thousand. The sixty TP is a fifty-three percent player after forty thousand when average battle average damage of one thousand seven hundred. He is a good player. He's actually a good player. He's above average. Um, he got outplayed. Then there's no reason for him to get upset. He didn't play badly, he didn't play incorrectly. He just got outplayed by a much better player. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. So, you know, that's not, uh, I'm not trying to name and shame him because he played well. He did okay. Um, you know, some of his team let him down. But the, the point I'm trying to point out here is remember that you're going to come across better players. So there's no need to scream and shout at them. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got it. I just, uh, I was just told by Wargaming not to show the crate opening. Um, but I was looking. Oh, I have a gift from Vengeance. Vengeance is a is a is a good chap. Unfortunately, he's he's not well at the moment. Um, and he used to be in Vale. Oh, he's a really oh, he's given me two thousand gold. Thank you very much, Vengeance. He, he's not he's not very well at the moment, which. Uh, which is upsetting, and I'm wishing him all the best. I sent him a message on Discord the other day uh, oh. about it. So hopefully he's going to pull through. So yeah, there's the phase one. I was just told, I mean, I, I got it in the crates, um, but I was told not to not to show 
the crate opening, um, basically because they didn't want negative press going out. Because there's a lot, there was a lot of negative press about people having to spend so much money on the crates. Um, I think I got it. I mean, I was lucky. I was lucky. I got it in. I can't remember what crate I got it in now, but it 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 it, it didn't cost me lots. So I mean, when you look at it, um, uh, if you go all the way to the end, then you get this. And I think I got it in the third or fourth crate or something. So, so yeah, I was quite lucky in that respect. I was quite lucky in that respect. But uh, it's not the easiest tank to get hold of. But don't get me wrong. If you've got an M1, if you've got the one hundred three, you're not missing. You're not missing much. To be fair, you're just not missing much. It's, it's similar to the 103. Just looks a bit funkier. That's all. But uh, yeah, it's not. It's it's nothing to write home about, guys. This is Jack going out an E3. Oh, well, that's the other tank I I, I totally hate the E4. <laughs> hate that tank. Just can't get on with the E4. I think it's okay. It's not bad for me. I play the E3 okay. I can't play the E4. Go figure. Same tank. Realistically. <laughs> One's well, got a turret that moves, one hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's been interesting. Uh, you know, it, recently I've been seeing a lot of people again complaining about the game. Oh, the game's bad. Oh, we can't win. Oh, this, oh, that. And, um, you know, my, my win rate's not suffering. I'm still winning more than I'm losing. Uh, my my average damage is going up, so I'm doing more damage than I'm, I'm whatever. And as I said in my video earlier, I mean I'm 50 years of age almost. I'll be 50 this year. So if if, if I can do it, trust me, trust me. There's light at the end of the tunnel for everybody else, <laughs> because you know I'm getting old and senile. <laughs> my my reflexes aren't like they used to be. My and eye coordination is not what it used to be. So if I can roll out after 40 odd thousand battles and, and, and still play relatively okay, then there is light at the end of the tunnel for everybody else. <laughs> there really is. And that's what you gotta, you gotta focus on the positives, guys, not the negatives. So yeah, it may seem that, you know, the, the game's crap, the teams are shit, but you know, it's pretty much how you play it, to be fair. And it's what you take from it. Yeah, Yusuf, 50 this year. Three months from now, oh my God, I'm gonna. That's 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 more than the English cricket team did recently in Australia. <laughs> and they struggled to get fifty, I think. <laughs> <coughs> I am Marty. I'm, I'm a youngster compared to some. <laughs> yeah, and nobody, you know, the likes of Meadsy and that lot never miss an opportunity to tell me that I'm the oldest CC. Yes, I'm older than Bush. I'm older than Bushka. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. And they never miss an opportunity to say that to me. Oh, you're the oldest of all of them. Ah, oh, dearie me. But, you know, I'm still playing and I can I'm still I can still I can still have fun. I can still do still still have some decent games. So as I said, if if I can do it, there's hope for all of it. There's hope for everybody. There really, really is. <laughs> Fifty four this year, damn it man. I keep catching you up though, mate. I won't actually overtake you, but I'm catching you up. There's always been that four year gap. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's ironic because I was playing, I was doing training with Vale the other day. And, you know, you have to appreciate most of the team are like in their, in their teens. <laughs> in fact, all of them are, I think, are in their teams apart from me. Oh, uh, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, Dejon, it is. When's my birthday? It's in March. March on the 9th is my birthday. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Thompson, to be fair. Um, hey, Simon. Where is Busket? I don't know. Probably busy doing PUBG. <laughs> um, you're only 59 this year, Martin. See, and Martin's still playing the game. Yes, thank you, Simon. Yeah, I'm still missing him, bless. Busket looks ready to retire. I think he has retired, hasn't he? Well, he retired from his job. He <laughs> didn't talk up YouTube instead. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, like I said, it's it, it's interesting. Uh, you know, most of the time, it's like it's it's hilarious when I get messages in the game afterwards from people saying "stupid kid." <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but no, it was, it, seriously, Jack, I did a game the other day in the Leo, and mm. um, it, it was a great game. I, I was on, um, I showed it in a replay earlier, not on here, but on, uh, on the video I did. And I was on Normandy, not Normandy, Yukon. And, <laughs> and afterwards, somebody sent me a message because we won the game and I, I, I played, it was a nice game. And somebody sent me a message afterwards said, stupid kid. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> only you knew. I'm probably older, considerably older than you. <laughs> twice, uh, twice as old. Probably, probably. <laughs> I mean, Yusuf saying, oh, Fuji, you're only 30 years older than me. <laughs> Yusuf, calm it. <laughs> you start to sound like me too. But yeah, so, so it, it's always funny when I get those messages, you know. Stupid kid, you should be, you should be, oh, you get it as well, Martin. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? I've had them saying, stupid kid, you should be at school. <laughs> like, okay, I've got like four law degrees and I'm 50. <laughs> what, do, what else do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does make me giggle. So, you got a, you got a blob, what's a blob? A blob and a drac. Yeah, the drac, the drac's okay. If you've already got it, then you get some money back. So it's always good. I mean, the snow globes are a mixed bag. You, 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 can, you can get overly enthusiastic with them, to be honest with you. Um, because you're not spending real cash, you're spending gold, or, or in certain cases, XP. And you can, you can forget, you can forget, to be fair. I haven't seen it yet, Simpson. I need to see it, Casper. 13 year old called me a kid just because I didn't say, yeah, yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> I get that all the time, mate. And there's only five years difference there. Look. When you, then when there's like three decades difference, it's, it's even funnier. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Sometimes it's four decades. <laughs> it's brilliant, man. Oh, it does make me giggle. Yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, I mean, the globes, the globes, you've got to be careful with the globes, guys, because it, it, they seem like, oh, it's only 1,500 gold. And then you can chase after a tank. And, and it, it's, it, it's, yeah. Hello? Hang on a minute, my wife is here. So, yeah. Yeah, so be careful with those globes, guys. Anyway, I've got to go and sort out uh, something downstairs. Uh, my wife just told me there's, a, there's an issue with uh, something downstairs. I think she said the internet, where obviously the internet's working because I'm streaming. So, go figure. But um, I'm going to have to cut this one short. Well, we've been streaming for, what, an hour and a half. Um, so I'm going to have to cut this one a little bit short. But uh, I might be on again later with Uprising, funnily enough. So we'll see. Anyway, so let me go and sort this out. Thank you very much for joining. And don't forget, as I said earlier, guys, the BPC starts tomorrow. And there are lots of streams ongoing in lots of different languages, not just English. So Henchman, there you go, 60 this year. That's brilliant. So remember, guys. As I said to you earlier, there's more than me streaming. There's Rolling Swarm, there's Robert, there's New Beta. There, there's quite a lot. So remember all that. As I said, I'll try and be on later with Uprising. Until then, guys, I need to go and sort out my wife's internet. Thank you, everybody on YouTube, for popping in. It's always a pleasure to see you. This is the first one of 2022. So hopefully we'll, we'll get to do more and more and more. Thank you, Jack, for popping in and all the others who, who popped in earlier. Um, and I'll catch you all again soon. Until the next time, guys, enjoy your Sunday. See, it's Sunday now. It's a weekend for me, finally. Because it used to be Friday, Saturday here, and now it's Saturday, it's now Saturday, Sunday, and a half day Friday. Woohoo! So, until the next time, guys, we're going to finish on that replay. Lovely little replay there, coming in from, uh, from one of the guys on NA. Um, didn't get much out of it, but still a nice replay. So, until next time, guys. All the best, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and thanks for popping by. Cheerio for now.